Uh, Jim, we're here after your supposedly final performance in the Morecambe shit. How did that go for you today? Yeah, it was great. Uh, you know, to, to have a little uh, small part against my boy old team, it was, uh, it was brilliant. So, uh, overwhelmed, you know, all the different feelings leading up to the game and certainly when you're on the pitch there at the end and you're getting clapped off by both sets of uh, fans and both sets of supporters, uh, teams, managers and everyone, you know, it's just been a great day all around. It really is, a, from our point of view as a club and from your point of view as a person, uh, the closing of one door and, and the opening of another really, isn't it? Because we've been discussing over the past season, now you're going to pull a shirt on again and you've made the decision and announced it today that this will be your final appearance. Is there a sort of, um, was this lingering with you last season? or did you A little bit, it? yeah, because when I got the job, I mean, the thing, the thing was I signed a player, manager, uh, contract, but it's very difficult to do everything. Um, you know, when you're trying to organise things and take training and sometimes you've got to be on the outside looking in to make sure that you overrule everything. But uh, the likelihood was as the season went on, I weren't going to play. You know, I've come to the situation now where I'd ever played last year, the likelihood is I wouldn't play this year. But uh, I've still got to play in contract because that was the contract I signed in the first place. But, uh, you know, likelihood is I won't play again. That'll be my last time. So it's, uh, it's a sad day in that respect. But as you say, you know, you, you hang the boots up and you get into the uh, the management life now and that's what I'm looking to kick on in. So from your point of view today, um, uh, performance wise it was important to get a game under our belt. Yeah. Um, they put a really good side out today, Everton, put, played credit to, to you and us by fielding a decent side, good yeah. crowd, entertaining yeah. game. Yeah, it was good. I thought uh, some of Everton's play at time was unbelievable, you know, but it's premiership stars that you're talking about. But, uh, no fair credit to the lads, little bits and pieces were worked. We've only been back 12 days and you've got to get so much cramped into that. Uh, so we have done a little bit on the way we wanted to play. Uh, and they carried that out more so first half of fourth. Um, but you know, as the, the teams get chopped and changed, it, it sort of goes a little bit raggy. But uh, you know, we accept that. But some please, you know, it's one or two niggles which you're always going to get a pre-season. But you know, they've got good minutes under the belt and uh, it's a slow process leading up to the uh, start of the season. So. Great day for me, I'm sure great day for the lads to pit the wits against Premiership players and uh, great day for both sets of fans, you know, it was a good atmosphere and uh, yeah, here's to another 10 years. <laughs> I, I, can't, I can't let you go without, uh, you've got to talk us through that goal. <laughs> it, was, uh, it wasn't a volley, is that why the keeper saved the first one? Because yeah. it wasn't a volley, you still consider yourself the best volleyer at the club. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, Tony Evans said, uh, you know, do you want me to put you through? And I said, if you would, like it would be a lovely gesture. <laughs> uh, so I went through, but he was shouting at the goalkeeper to let me go through and score. But then when I'm approaching the goalkeeper and he's staying up, I'm thinking, is he going to lie down and let me put it in? Or what? <laughs> but he never played the uh, game, did he? So he tries to slip it down the side of me. He's got a good save on it, but luckily he got the rebound back in. But when you haven't been in that situation for the... For quite a while <laughs> when that ball's coming over in the last minute I thought oh, don't fall over or don't bobble up or something so I had to watch it all the way and uh, pleased to see it nestled in the back of the net for me uh, for my final time in front of the home fans as well so even, even the Everton fans applauded Yeah, and I, I have to say there was a, there was one point when uh, Isaac Reid was putting the cross back in where Tony Hibbert had to hold the other centre half back because yeah. he was going to run and try and stop yeah. Yeah. So, uh, but he was trying to organise things here it's only able to be fair to him and when I ran past him, he shook my hand. I said, Can I uh, repay the favour? But it's only if it's never scored for Everton. And Everton fans sing, if both scores, we riot. And I thought, We don't want to riot, so uh, <laughs> we'll leave it. So he had a little laugh at it. So now it was great, great gesture. And, uh, you know, what a way to, to finish a great day. Yeah, it's been a fantastic day from, uh, from a supporter's point of view. We've spoken to a lot of people today, an awful lot of people, more, in more interviews than we've ever done before. And uh, there are some very, very fitting tributes to you, Jim. And we'll just add, add our own at the end here by saying uh, we're really proud to have you as a player and a manager here at Morecambe Football Club. And uh, long may your success continue. Thank you very much, fellas. Thank you.